I've always said when we've been to concerts in the music variety, we've been to lots and lots of things, and, and we've been to the New Year's Day concert rehearsal. Um, oh, I'd love to sing in that play because it is it acoustically it's beautiful. And I said before I die, I'd like to sing in this place. Antarctica one about five years ago we went to Antarctica and I wouldn't go again not because I didn't like it because it was wonderful but it's it's a special moment isn't it and it's the same with the music for I if someone had said to me next year oh Mike come and join us um, I'd probably say no because um, I've done it now and that, and that I can put that in the drawer Look for something else to do now. Yeah. Taxi comes at seven o'clock. Get to Heathrow about nine o'clock. Have some breakfast. Plane leaves at eleven. I've got a nice business class seat on the plane, so it's quite nice. Annie's met me most time and gives me an hour and a half at home here before the rehearsal at 730 in Vienna. Some water, water or a cup, cup of tea? Or some water, water first and, water. Some, and a cup of tea. Yeah. A cup of tea, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Have some tea. And then we'll have something to eat. Yes, that'd be lovely. All right. That's simmering. Oh, I'd like to go yes. in there if possible. Yes, that's simmering. <laughs> that's when we went to a concert at Musikverein. And this is Angela. Yes, that's what he remembers. Semmering and Musikverein. There was a trip ten years ago or so. I did a concert in Romsey Abbey many years ago and um, I met someone after the concert and they said, God, there's a lady in front of me. And all she did was read a book. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Angela. <laughs> Music right is beautiful. I do feel a bit humble being allowed to do it, really. And I wouldn't want to do it again. Just the once is, is enough. Because we, I sing in the Albert Hall in London every year, two or three times. And although it's wonderful with 2,000 people singing, it's begin, it's begin to lose a bit of the, the gloss. Whereas to sing once in the music variety would be, yeah, yeah. I hope um, I don't panic. I daren't make a mistake. Daren't make a mistake.
very, very um, particular, and he's very particular on the tuning. Because, well, the one or two bits where it's quite easy to come a bit in a beat too early or come in loud. Hopefully the choir will sit down, sign, sign the copy for me, if I can get it. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Sh we, day off I would like to go shopping. Shopping. To go and get this hat, because I'm actually quite cold and I forgot to bring my peat cap. Shopping hat plus tie. Yes. Where do you want to go? City centre or somewhere in a yes. shopping centre? In the city sense, city I, and I don't yeah, mind. Yeah. I don't even mind paying silly yes. prices. Well, because it's, it's not really cheaper. Good, good no, quality no, no. has. I'd rather pay. Price, I'd rather so. have something really nice. Yes, all right. So that's that's, that's the it. program. That's it. <laughs> I was on a holiday in Shropshire and uh, I had to leave my holiday, stay in London the night, fly to Vienna on the Tuesday and I had an audition at the rehearsal that night and I had to sing the Agnus Dei and the Sanctus. I thought if I don't get through the audition I'm going to have to go back and tell my friends that I haven't got through the audition. Well, it's quite hard for a, a conductor of another choir to just to take someone not knowing them. And that's a big step for them, really. And you have to get used to the way they sing and the sound they produce. Yeah, so I was quite pleased. I said to one of my friends, I'm not a passenger at the moment in this choir. <laughs> Looking for a silver tie. <laughs> I have here, also. Yeah. <laughs> Never go shopping with Annie. <laughs> Never go shopping with Annie. One other little bit of that. Yes. It looks more interesting. Okay. And still plain. Did yeah. you cost it? Uh, we cost it. How old? Yeah, oh, how old. Big. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 I could tell. Oh, look. Yes, it's a special one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will have this one. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes, I'll have this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. I bought a very expensive tie. The tie was more expensive than the suit I was wearing. <laughs> I've never spent so much on a tie before in my life. Thank you, Mr. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good day. I don't like shouting. When I'm singing, I don't like... Um, I have a soft tenor voice rather than a... Uh, a loud tenor voice. I don't. I quite. I like to blend in rather than be um, too. Um, so that people don't notice you so much. There are some people that shout really quite loud. I quite like to be just a gentle voice. Yeah.
They have sweets on the tabletop there. And I thought it would be quite nice to take some sweets from England, which is slightly different. Yes, it's just a little gesture, really. And also explain to them who I was, because Christian hadn't um, formally said, there's a funny man over there from London. <laughs> What did I learn last night? Uh, watch the conductor. <laughs> He's a professional musician and he wants perfection. Even though with an amateur choir, he demands it, which is good. He's trying to give you something and he loves music, it's obvious. Because he didn't just talk for the sake of it. He, you know, he's giving instructions the whole time. I just hope we produce on the night. Sometimes there's talking going on and you're trying to listen to what he's saying. I sit next to Gabby, as a lady tenor. She speaks English, so she was telling me where I was because although I can understand German numbers, um, because you work so fast, it takes a minute for me to translate the numbers back into English. I was making markings in my copy. We had to put some markings in about getting loud and soft. She was telling you what roughly he was saying. And also you could tell from the expression, although it's speaking German, you could gather what he was saying. I think they realise now who I am and they realise that I'm flying every week for the rehearsal. I'm glad I didn't just turn up for the last next weekend and the final weekend because that was originally the plan. But now I feel as though I'm part of the choir, not just a, a bit on the end of the row. It's a shame in many ways, you just do the performance once because you want to experience being in the hall but on the other hand you have got a job to do to sing. In the rehearsal you can stop and start again, can't you? But in a concert you can't, you have to just keep going and that's more important really. It's hot 
it's hard, hard work, work. yes. Just, yeah. just, the the, the tenor part is the most difficult piece of yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is good. Ah, good. Now we have a Russell stand. Russell? Russell? Are you sure? Something tasty. This is with I'll take. I'll take it first. When we can Yes. 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 Okay. I've never been to a rehearsal for so long and so intense. That was a quite shock, really. Because it started at four, so that was nearly five hours of singing, wasn't it? That was quite hard. I bought a present for Christian. Um, it's a, a presentation copy of the, of the Handel's Messiah in English. I talked to some of the choir about it, and they think it might be a good idea if I gave this to Christian, and they might well do it in the future. I think for them to take on an English person to come across and sing one concert, just the once, it is quite a thing, really. And it's quite a privilege to come. And I just thought it'd be nice to say thank you for, for making a dream come true. I think if I was the conductor of a choir and someone wants to come in, that is quite a challenge. But it's also quite a challenge for the person taking on the role because I could have just turned up for the main rehearsals and been the passenger. But I was determined to come to all the other rehearsals to make sure that um, I was actually part of the choir doing my bit. I would like to think I'm part of the choir. Yeah, I hope they think I am. when you're doing something like this, what we're doing in Vienna, although it's two days traveling, there's the half day beforehand getting ready and there's the half day after. So it's three days out of a week and you've still got all your other things to do, haven't you? Home life still goes on, doesn't it? And I've got quite tired. I've had to have several rests. Drink first? 
Yes. A warm drink, sir. A warm drink, yes, please. Yes. More English tea or herbal? Herb? English tea would be English lovely. Tea. Yes. Thank you. It's sort of sad because it's nearly time, really, to do it. Um, um, yes, it's it's sort of. Don't know really. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, Cisco. Just go. Just go. It seems an age since we've been coming, but all of a sudden it's all over, isn't it? It'll be interesting to find out afterwards how I coped with the experience of being there. There's a danger that you could be overawed by the experience, but I just have to block that out and just sing. where the dream was born. Andrew and I came here to the New Year's Day concert preview and we had front row seats. I couldn't see the orchestra because it's so low down. But, but yes, it's a, it is a special place. Yes. Do you think I should go and get Christian to sign my book? Yeah, yeah. I'll go and see if he can if he'll do it. I think next Saturday will be even more nerve-wracking than the actual performance. You'll have to get it right first time. You can't go back and do it again. I always feel nervous at the final rehearsal because if it's not right then, <laughs> there isn't much you can do really, is there? All the signatures. <laughs> All the signatures of the uh, um, soloist and Christian. Now, 
we should know the music. So now really just concentrating on getting the nuances right and getting the words right, really. And trying to make one sound rather than 10 separate tenors, just trying to make one nice sound. Machen wir es so, dass die Alexandra einfach losgeht und ihr merkt es dann, wenn es losgeht, kommt es auch, oder? Ich meine, anders ist es nicht zu machen. Alles andere ist, man kann mit Handy vielleicht. Ich meine, wenn man es ganz, warte, warte, wenn es euch mit dem Handy anruft, dann abschalten bitte, gell? We say in England, the blind leading the blind. I suspect we'll sing the whole thing through now. So, oh. but the um, the last requiem. Oh, it's so hard because it's you're singing so quietly, and the breath. You have to use more breath. And it's quite difficult. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. Nervous before a concert. Probably the first time. Next time in music verein. Next time in music. No, there is ne no next time. <laughs> no. I don't think I could stand the um, the uh, uh, stress. I've sung the uh, Verdi more or less every day, or bits of it every day since early June. So I must have sung it over 150 times. So I should know it really. It's impossible that today is the last day. It's a bit sad, really, but uh, all dreams come to an end sometime. This one. That's where this is taken from. Um, Staffa, which is an island off um, the west of Scotland, which was Angela's favourite place. And uh, her ash, some of her ashes are, are, are buried on the island. I've, I've put them up, up, scattered them in a little place. But that's, that's typical Angela with her red coat and a camera. Perhaps she'll be there.
it's difficult to explain what the feelings are because it's it's just memories, isn't it? It's um, yeah, it's memories. Yeah. What a wonderful place! I remember coming in here for the um, New Year's Day concert, and the, on the other side, all the flowers are beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's, it's lovely. There's nothing quite like it. I'm not just there for the dream bit, I'm actually there to be part of the choir. That's what the dream is, not just to sing in the hall, but to be part of a group of people singing. It's like those holidays that you go on, you spend ages and ages thinking about it, and then when it happens, it's over in a flash, isn't it? I should have to sit down for a few minutes just to take it all in. I feel lucky that I've got this opportunity. I never thought I'd get the chance. I suppose I've got to have to think of another dream now, haven't I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we're going to Canada next year, so that'd be a dream come true. January, I think. That was must have been 2004, when Angie and I went up to see the snow. We went to Wiener Neustadt on the train, and then we went up to Semmery. And we went to a funny little um, cafe in Semmery, uh, where we had goulash, and we got lost. It was a special time, yes, yeah, special time. Yeah. I'm 
sure she's up there somewhere saying, oh my God, what are you doing? 